the last hours of six American female death row inmates before execution. In the annals of capital punishment, the case of Kelly Gissendanner stands as a poignant and controversial chapter. In 2015, this woman from Georgia found herself at the center of a national debate over the death penalty, even attracting the attention of Pope Francis, who pleaded for her life. Gissendanner's journey from a theology program in prison to facing the ultimate punishment is a tale that raises profound questions about justice, redemption, and the weight of human actions. Teresa Lewis Teresa Lewis, a 41-year-old woman, was executed by lethal injection on September 23, 2010 in Virginia. This marked the first time in nearly a century that a woman had faced the death penalty in the state. Lewis had been convicted of arranging the murders of her husband and stepson to collect a $250,000 insurance payout. In 2002, she convinced two men to carry out the killings while the victims were asleep. As she entered the execution chamber, Lewis showed signs of fear and inquired about her stepdaughter, Kathy Clifton, who remained hidden. Lewis's final words expressed love and remorse towards Kathy. The execution proceeded smoothly and Lewis was pronounced deceased at 9.13 p.m. A guard provided a comforting tap on her shoulder as she passed away. The Reverend Julie Perry, Lewis's spiritual advisor, stood by with sorrow. Despite believing in redemption, Kathy remained uncertain about her stepmother's fate. Kimberly McCarthy Kimberly McCarthy was convicted and sentenced to death for the murder of her 71-year-old neighbor, Dorothy Booth, in 1997. Booth, a retired college professor, was killed during a robbery in her Texas home. McCarthy claimed innocence and appealed her sentence multiple times, but her execution date was ultimately set for January 29, 2013. Several reprieves postponed the date to June 26, 2013. McCarthy continued to assert her innocence, but her pleas were ignored. On June 26, 2013, McCarthy's sentence was carried out through lethal injection at the Huntsville Unit in Huntsville, Texas. This execution marked the 500th lethal injection in Texas since the reinstatement of capital punishment in the United States in 1976. Texas had stopped granting last meal requests, so McCarthy received the standard meal served to all inmates, baked chicken, fish, boiled eggs, carrots, green beans, and sliced bread. Suzanne Basso Suzanne Basso, a 59-year-old woman, became the 14th woman to be executed in the United States since capital punishment was reinstated. In 1999, she was found guilty of organizing a group that brutally tortured and killed Louis Buddy Musso, a mentally disabled man whom she had deceived into moving to Texas under the false promise of marriage. Female executions are rare in the United States, and only five women in Texas have been executed since 1976. In 2014, Bassa was led into the execution room wearing a white prison uniform at around 2.15 p.m. When asked if she had any final words, she replied, no sir. Although tears welled up in her eyes, she managed to smile at two friends who were observing the proceedings through a window, silently expressing affection. Shortly after, the lethal drug pentobarbital was injected into her veins. Basso's breathing gradually diminished and stopped completely, resembling snoring. At 6.26 p.m., 11 minutes after the drug was administered, she was officially pronounced dead, marking the end of her life's journey. Lisa Ann Coleman Lisa Ann Coleman, a 38-year-old woman from Arlington, Texas, was executed in 2014 after spending eight years on death row. She was convicted for the capital murder of nine-year-old Devante Williams, her girlfriend's son, which occurred 10 years earlier. Devante's body was found scarred and starved, weighing only 35 pounds. Coleman received a lethal injection and passed away peacefully. Prior to her execution, she spent time with loved ones and engaged in word games with a friend. Five witnesses, including family members and friends, were present, but no one represented the young victim. Coleman's final words were directed to her fellow inmate, expressing her strength and gratitude. Eileen Wernos Eileen Wernos, portrayed by Charlize Theron in the film A Monster, was executed in Florida in 2002 for the murder of at least six men. While there were suspicions of her involvement in another murder, she was never formally charged. Wernos had a troubled life, coming from a broken home and suffering abuse from her grandfather. 
She made disturbing claims of incest with her brother. As an adult, she lived a transient life, working in the sex industry and hitchhiking. Between late 1989 and 1990, Wuornos and her accomplice killed six men, primarily targeting her clients and robbing them. She initially claimed self-defense for one murder, but later changed her story. She faced a trial for five additional murders and openly admitted to a seventh. Just before her lethal injection, she expressed her final words, expressing a belief in reuniting with Jesus, seeking forgiveness, and taking responsibility for her actions.